Hello, Steve here with the latest Okanagan County property that is available, 12.52 acres. And here we are looking from the east to the west. And this is kind of a sneak peek. This is kind of the top of a little mountain that you're a part of when you have great views to the east and the west. So let's take another look at it here. Anyways, here's looking uh, west. And here's looking eastbound. Exposure to the sun. So here's the north location. You have access. There's a road that comes right through the bottom of the property. And the, there's no road carved into going up the property, but you do have access to the bottom of the property at this point. There are other, are other homes in the area, one here and one here. But in general, it's pretty, pretty remote and you're pretty much by yourself good privacy. This is Aeneas Valley up here. Highway 20 coming out of Tenasket. Here we are in the county GIS site showing the makeup of lots. You have over here on this side is all uh, forested area undevelopable so that will remain real <clears throat> real nice and really good views off that area and then this is kind of the top of the mountain so you have views off to this area also. And you can see the road. Here's the access road. There's a forest service road over here. This comes up through a horse farm over here. There's a there's actual the easement comes right through this and you access the property that way. Here it is in Google Maps. You're kind of right between Tunk Mountain and Mount Annie. And here is the Aeneas Valley Road that comes off of Highway 20. And there's Tonasket. There is a little bit of a, a little lake here off Jack's Pass Road. And then Peony Creek comes down. Here's the Forest Service land area right over here. Now, as far as wells, so here's the property. It's kind of like right, right in this area. You've got a well here. That's at six foot and 220 feet. Six, it's a six inch and it's at a depth of 220 feet. Another one right down here. Another six inch at 220 feet. You're probably going to have to go a little bit deeper if you want it, if you did it, eventually want to put a well in because you're a little bit up higher in elevation. Uh, but that gives you an idea of the uh, types of wells that are available in the area. Here we are. Have a wider overview. We've got Omac, Tenasket, I think Riverside's right over in this area. So you're in the Okanagan wilderness. We've got Round Lake, Long Lake, L Lake. And you're right kind of on the top of this ridge area. Kind of slopes up. There are some sites in here that would probably be pretty easy to carve out for a building pad, but I would.